Welcome to the module on entrepreneurial opportunities. In this module, we're going to be talking about where opportunities come from in entrepreneurship. Overall, across the module, we'll talk about the different ways of different types of trends and, and demographic changes that lead to possible business opportunities that entrepreneurs can take advantage of. And we'll talk about why some of those favor startups like startup businesses like entrepreneurial businesses, and why some of them favor more existing businesses who can just take advantage of their current assets and what they can already do well to expand incrementally into their business. Different characteristics lead to different advantages, and we'll be talking about those over the course of the module. For this module, however, we'll be talking, or talking about just the introduction. This particular lecture will talk about the introduction. What we'll talk about here is why opportunities aren't so much making something happen in the world, but recognizing why, when there is an opportunity, and then learning how to capitalize on it. That's really what this discussion about opportunities is about, is to realize that things occur in the marketplace. Trends happen among technologies or political or economic systems and the demographics that people are living, how the, how the population is changing its tastes, different kinds of events that lead to market differences, like, like um, the Academy Awards coming up might lead to different kinds of purchasing, different movies become interesting or different types of music movies are highlighted and you see the changes in the marketplace. All of these, when you think about them and, and, and uh, describe or plan or uh, identify where these things might lead in the future, you might find yourself with an opportunity to work through. Over the course of the next several lectures in this module, we'll talk about the theoretical foundations. I've touched on them a little bit here, but the theoretical foundations of where opportunities come from. There's two basic theories that we'll talk about. Then we'll talk about the trends in the marketplace that tend to create opportunities. And again, I've alluded to them as well. We'll go into them in a little bit more detail. Trends like, for example, technology changes, the, the internet and smartphones and, and flat screen TVs and gaming consoles and social media, things like that. Then we'll talk about the marketplace dynamics themselves and how, how the changing market, whether something is newly launched or is relatively old and been around for quite a while, how that affects the opportunities for starting new companies. We'll talk about industries that are favorable to startups versus others. We'll focus deeply on the ones that favor existing companies. You don't want to go up against the General Motors or an Exxon if you can help it, unless you understand precisely what you're getting into. But the good news is certain industries, certain types of products, certain new types of developing markets favor startups small and nimble companies like a startup venture. And those are the ones we'll focus on and discuss as well. And then we'll recap how you look at opportunities once you've identified them, how you look at them, think about them, and then plan your next move. Decide whether to commit yourself wholeheartedly to starting a business, investing the next five to 10 years of your life to making something exciting happen, but also accepting some of the risk associated with that. On the next lecture, we'll dive a little bit more into some of the theoretical background, the foundations of where this opportunity comes from and why entrepreneurship as an enterprise exists at all. So we'll see you there. Next, we'll talk about theoretical foundations.